Regenerative braking allows you to increase your e-golf's driving range, and unlike a gasoline or diesel vehicle, your driving style can effectively add fuel to your e-golf's tank. Here's how it works. The e-golf's motor generator's primary job is to power the front wheels. This operation is simple. The motor draws power from the high voltage battery and turns the single speed direct drive transmission, which in turn spins the front wheels. Regenerative braking works in the opposite direction. The rotational motion of the front wheels turns the electric motor, which generates electricity. The power electronics unit converts the energy from regenerative braking to recharge the high voltage battery. In the e-golf, you can choose between different energy regeneration levels with the gear shift lever to change the degree of energy recovery. In normal D mode, lifting your foot from the accelerator results in no deceleration and no regeneration. But when you're in D mode, you can adjust the regeneration levels by nudging the lever to the left to increase the regeneration level and by pushing it to the right to lower the regeneration level. If the lever is pushed to the right and briefly held there, the electronic switches straight back to the normal D mode with no regeneration. You can activate the highest regenerative braking level B by pulling the gear shift downwards toward the B icon. The selected level of regeneration is displayed in the MFI. In an electric car, this amount of flexibility can lead to a different way of driving. It is possible to use regenerative braking consciously to slow your e-golf down. Level D1 regenerates energy and slows down the car the least, while level D3 and B has the strongest effect on the car's speed. At levels D2, D3, and B, regenerative braking deceleration is so strong that the brake lights come on automatically. There is one more thing to remember. If the battery in your e-golf is fully charged, no energy regeneration takes place. Regenerative braking increases the efficiency of your e-golf, providing you additional range, especially when driving in stop and go traffic. Start with D1 and then experiment with the different regenerative modes to determine the regenerative braking mode that is best for you and your driving conditions. Yeah.